Well, hello, everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, in this Christmas week, uh, I want to read to you some passages of Scripture that I pray will bless you tremendously. Ones that we're very familiar with, that we've heard many times. But my prayer is that as we reflect on these passages of Scripture in this Advent uh, season, in this waiting that you would experience the presence of God very powerfully as they become fresh within your spirit. Uh, That's my prayer often when I pray, Lord, make this fresh within me that I may hear again, experience again, encounter again, that it's just not listening to a story we know, but it's the experience of God within us again. Well, I'm going to read a story about Mary going to visit Elizabeth. We're going to pick the story up from when the angel Gabriel is speaking to Mary and telling her that she will be the mother of the Lord. And so we read from chapter 1, verse 36. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of uh, Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me that the mother of my Lord comes to me For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what had what was spoken to her by the Lord. What a great passage of scripture. The angel Gabriel comes to Mary, says to Mary, Mary, you're going to be the mother of the Lord. Mary's response is, let it be done unto me according to your word. A hundred percent surrender. So challenging, 100% uh, challenging. But the angel Gabriel also says, Elizabeth in her old age, who was said to be barren, has conceived. Now, in those days, to be barren, uh, for a woman to be barren, particularly when they're of child, uh, childbearing age, uh, was seen to be, in a sense, many people would wonder in those uh, more primitive times, had the woman done something wrong? Was she being condemned by God in some way? Barrenness was seen to be almost like an indictment against you by God himself. Now, we don't understand that today at all in that way. But in those days, there was that, that sense uh, of, of what occurred. And so here was, all, here was Elizabeth, who was now old age, plus had been barren, uh, uh, is now expecting. And, and in a sense, it's a sign of the fruitfulness or the abundance of God's presence coming into the earth uh, and into the world. And, 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 she, and, and, and when Mary greets her, there is this immediate sense of joy and an infilling of the Holy Spirit. In other words, God is at work as the baby Jesus, even still in the womb, is coming. God is at work. The Holy Spirit fulfills us. And in this week, as the Holy Spirit, uh, as we as as the Holy Spirit comes upon us, why? Because as Jesus comes into the world, Jesus comes and the Holy Spirit comes, and the Holy Spirit is the power of God. So we celebrate Jesus. We celebrate what God the Father did in sending Jesus, but we also receive the power of God into our life afresh this week. Come, Holy Spirit. It might have been my prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, into me as Jesus becomes more alive in my life as well. Elizabeth is overawed that Mary would visit her. Mary's over, uh, Elizabeth is overawed. Why would the mother of my Lord? And then she says something that connects back up to Mary's 100% surrender in verse 45. Have a look at this. And it says, And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And blessed is she 
who believed that there would be fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Elizabeth said to her, how blessed are you that the angel Gabriel comes and says, you're going to be the mother of the Lord. How blessed are you that you believed it, that it would be fulfilled. The coming of Jesus into our life, the coming of Jesus into our life fulfills His kingdom within us. And we want Jesus' kingdom within us. In our own life, where are the areas of your life that you're holding on to in terms of uh, dreams that you have, beliefs that you have, convictions that you have about God's presence coming more and more and more into your life? It's like we're waiting for the coming of Jesus into our life and, and it allows His purpose and His way to be more fulfilled in us. This Christmas, say to God, God, here am I. This Christmas, say to God, fill me with your Holy Spirit. This Christmas, your will be done in me. I'm, I'm surrendering to the best of my ability. Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. That should be our prayer. And, and God will bless us where we are in our work, in our families, in our businesses, in the circumstances that we are in our study, um, in the places where we are, where we're thinking about our family, our children, our grandchildren, maybe even our great-grandchildren. My prayer for you is that you would open your heart to Jesus, that as Jesus comes, you would receive the Holy Spirit and that you would see in Mary a life that, a life that was so surrendered, she kept believing over and over and over again. May we believe in the same way. Loving Father, I thank you today that you love us. Bless us today. Pour your Holy Spirit into us in these Christmas days, Lord. In these Advent days, pour your Holy Spirit to us that we can surrender to your divine will more properly and more and more in our life, exactly where we are. And Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Don't forget, if you want to listen to the Christmas songs that we've recorded, go to the Extras tab if you're watching through our website or if you're watching through social media, go to the addresses online. You can find these prayerful uh, recordings of these Christmas songs, Christmas carols, that I pray will bless you in your prayer. God bless you, everybody. See you next time. And don't forget, wherever you are, God is never far from you.